Monocytes are massive. They, in fact, I love, this is my favorite part, drawing the picture. I can't make it bigger than the box that it's supposed to fit in, but let's just make a note that they are massive. That says massive. Massive monocytes have a giant, okay, I need to make it blue because that's what color all my nuclei have been. They have a huge U-shaped nucleus. And let me just have you take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Good job. And do you think every single monocyte is going to look just like that? No. If you took a cross section, like if you smashed this monocyte down and you could wonkify its nucleus in such a way that it didn't look all beautiful and horseshoe shaped like that. But the quintessential monocyte looks like this. And the quintessential monocyte is a lot bigger than our other cells. Hey, look, there it is. So take a look at this. I'm far away. And you can see, dude, is there any question? Number one, that thing's giant compared to these guys, right? Who do you think that is? Multi-lobed weirdness. Neutrophil. We haven't talked about this guy yet. This is a lymphocyte. Little round nucleus. Here's my big cell with a U-shaped, horseshoe-shaped nucleus. That's the monocyte. Now, monocytes, oh my gosh. They're so cool because guess what? They live in the blood for about eight hours, but then they go into the tissues. And what does that mean? They go into the body. They migrate. They're like, dude, blood is for people who like to surf. We're going mountain climbing. And they go out into the tissues, and they turn into, they have a different name, of course, because why not? When they're in the blood, they're monocytes. When they migrate into the tissues, they're called macrophages. And think about that word. Macro, huge, huge. Phage, phagocytosis, eater. These guys are huge eaters. In fact, I had a fact somewhere about they can eat up to 100 bacteria in their lifetime. Like that's, that's crazy. They are, they are phagocytes. They yumptialize everything inside. When they go into the tissues, they often get even more unique names. For example, in nervous system tissue in the brain, the little um, microglia, do you guys remember those guys? Of course you do because we just had an exam on that. The microglia are macrophages that are found in the brain. You have alveolar macrophages that are found in your lungs. You have different kinds of macrophages that hang out in different places, but their job is just to yumptialize bacteria all day long. They love it. Wow, that was it? I like monocytes. They're not very common, so you're going to have to look hard and share the wealth when you find one when we're studying. The last little team is our second most common buddies, and those are the lymphocytes. Okay, push stop.